Right, welcome back to another reaction. Today we have Why Alien Life Would Be Our Doom, the great filter. Can't wait to watch this. It's another space video, and I love reacting to space videos, so I'm really excited for this. Let's jump straight into this one. NASA announced today that they found aliens. Ah, it, yo, 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 imagine, imagine that, like, NASA just comes out with breaking news headlines. We found aliens, like, what? Us. Weird alien fish in the oceans of Europa. Oh my and also, god. Ancient alien ruins on Titan. Wouldn't that be great? That would well, be great. No, that would be so be good. News. What? What do you mean? Wait, hold on. Go back. Wouldn't that be great? Yes. Well, no. Huh? That would be horrible news. Devastating, even. Why? It could mean that the end of humanity is almost certain and that it might How? be coming soon. Bro, what? bro, they, uh, you don't know they could be nice aliens doing research. Like, for example, if we find aliens, right, we're not going to go and annihilate them. But why, why does everyone have in their head, right, if if you find an alien, right, an alien species is just going to annihilate the UK. No, what, no I say UK because I'm probably, I mean the Earth, right? Aliens aren't going to annihilate the Earth as soon as they find the Earth. I know we're 25 seconds in, but... I, I love like talking about aliens and shit, but like no 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 no. When we find, but if we find aliens, we're not gonna like fucking destroy them, are we? No 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 no. Let's go. Why would the most exciting discovery of our lifetime? We'll be friends be just bad. like this right now. We'll be friends just like they those two are. Believe me. Right. Let us imagine the development of life from its inception to us today uh. as a flight of stairs. The first step is dead chemistry that needs to assemble itself into self-replicating patterns, stable and resilient, but also able to change like and evolve. Clown balloons. The second step is for our early life to become more complex, okay. able to build more complicated structures and use the available what energy the much fuck more is efficiently. That? On the next step, these cells combine to become multicellular beings, right. enabling unbelievable variety and further complexity. The step above sees the species <laughs> evolve big brains, enabling the use of tools. I just can't imagine it's like that. What, what is it all with his legs? Complexity. He's got love heart legs. The species can now become the dominant life form on its planet and change it according to its needs. Ah, First, right. shy attempts to leave its planet are happening. This is where we are now. It's in the nature of life as we know it to reach out, to cover every niche it can. Yep. And since planets have a limited carrying capacity and lifespan, if a species wants to survive, it will look for more <laughs> places to spread okay. to. So the steps above the current ones seem logical. Colonize your own solar system. Then spread Bro, further that'd to be reach so other stars. Fucking cool, to the man. possible final step, becoming a galaxy-wide civilization. It's How very cool would that be? That this is a universal principle for civilizations, no matter where they're from. If a species is, I'm telling you right now, that is going to happen. Like it could be in a thousand years' time, but eventually we will have the technology to make this a reality. But like, oh, it's just so unfortunate. That like, hopefully we colonize Mars in my lifetime. I, I really, I really hope enough to take control we do that. over its planet. They'll probably I want to be a spot, there. a part of something, uh, like we colonizing know that there another are planet. Up to 500 billion planets in the Milky Way. Not me sp specifically being a part of that. Me just like seeing it happen would be cool. At least 10 billion Earth-like planets. Many have been around billions of years longer than Earth. Really? But we're observing 10 zero million? galactic civilizations. We should be able to see something, but there's nothing. Space seems to be empty and dead. This means something is preventing living things from climbing the staircase beyond the step we're on right now. Something that makes becoming a galactic civilization extremely hard, maybe impossible. This is the great right, filter. There's no way. A challenge or danger so hard to overcome that it eliminates almost every species that encounters it. There are two scenarios. One means we are incredibly special and lucky. The other Bro, there is no fucking way, right? How, how, how many planets, how many galaxies? Trillions and trillions and trillions, right? Of planets, right? There's like two trillion galaxies, right? There's That we know of. There's no way we are the only living things. There's, it's not possible. It's not possible that we are the only living things. No One way. Means we no are way. Doomed and practically already dead. 
it depends on where the filter is on our staircase. Behind or ahead of us? Scenario 1. The filter is behind us. We are the first. If the filter is behind us, that means that one of the steps we passed is almost impossible to take. Which step could it be? Is life itself extremely rare? It's very hard to make predictions about how likely it is for life to emerge from dead things. Right, there is no, no consensus. Some scientists think it develops everywhere where the conditions are right. Others think that Earth might be the only living place nah, in the don't, universe. Don't believe it one bit. Another kind of... Uh, like, oh, this is going to be too big of a question to ask, but like, you know how like space is space and like, you've got all like the, um, like, all the cells and all the shit, all the fucking energy in space, right? How on earth did we get the cells to form life? Like, how, how where did that come from in space? Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, bro, like, what the fuck? Date is the step of complex animal cells. A very specific thing happened on this step, and as far as we know, it happened exactly once. A primitive hunter cell swallowed another cell, but instead of devouring it, the two cells formed a union. The bigger cell provided oh. shelter. Oh, it's legit show, bro. I if you if you are like a fan of my channel and you watch a lot of these reactions, you will always see I always ask the question and then literally like when I like I'll pause it, ask a question to you guys, and then when I play it, the next second is answering my question. Or it does it all the time. Interacting with the environment and providing resources, while the smaller one used its new home and free stuff to focus on providing a lot of extra energy for its host. Crazy. With the abundant energy, the host cell could grow more than before and build new and expensive things to improve itself, while the guest became the powerhouse of the cell. What the fuck? These cells make up every animal on the planet. Maybe there are billions of bacteria-covered planets in the Milky Way, but not a single one apart from us has achieved our level of complexity. Or okay. intelligence. We humans feel very smart and sophisticated with our crossword puzzles and romantic <laughs> novels, but a big brain is, first and foremost, a very expensive evolutionary investment. They are fragile. They don't help in a fist fight with a bear. They cost enormous amounts of energy. And despite them, it took modern humans 200,000 years to get from sharp sticks to civilization. <laughs> Being smart does not mean you get to win automatically. Maybe intelligence is just not so great, and we're lucky that it worked out for us. Scenario 2. The filter is ahead of us. Plenty of others died already. A great filter before us is orders of magnitude more dangerous than anything we encountered so far. Even if a major disaster killed most of us or threw us back thousands of years, we would survive and recover. And if we can recover, even if it takes a million years, then it's not a great filter, but just a... This is such an interesting Robot video, man. Eventual galactic this is so interesting, the On different theories. time scales, even millions of years are just the blink of an eye. If a great filter really lies before us, it has to be so dangerous, so purely devastating and powerful, that it has destroyed most, if not all, advanced civilizations in our galaxy over billions of years. A really daunting and depressing hypothesis is that once a species takes control over its planet, it's already on the path to self-destruction. <laughs> Technology is Yo, a good way to achieve that. That is... <laughs> yeah, but would we have signs of other planets doing that? Like, we would have, like... Like, for example, if... If there's aliens on a different planet somewhere, right? And we all died out. They would look over our way, not that easily, but they would look with the big telescopes over our way and just see like satellites and just shit all, but you know what I mean? Like just shit on the planet, like th there'll, be, there'll be signs of life. It needs to be something that's so obvious that virtually everybody discovers it and so dangerous that its discovery leads almost universally to an existential... Bro, what would you guys do if one day, right, like NASA came out like, oh my God, breaking pictures, like so many, many, many light years away, they found a planet that like people might not be on it or people might be on it, that'd be cool as fuck. But there's just like buildings and there's an environment and there's man-made structures. Oh my, or alien-made structures. That would be fucking insane, man. That would be, oh. Disaster. 
It would be so a large cool. Scale nuclear war. Nanotechnology that gets out of control. Genetic engineering of the perfect superbug. An experiment that lights the whole atmosphere on fire. It might be a super intelligent AI okay. that accidentally hey, or less of this man. destroys Less its of the ways of telling me like all how the war's gonna end. See coming right now. Oh sick. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpler. Species competitive enough to take over their planet necessarily destroy it while competing with each other for resources. Maybe there are runaway chain reactions in every ecosystem that once set in motion are not fixable. And so once a civilization is powerful enough to change the composition of its atmosphere, they make their planet uninhabitable 100% of the time. Let's hope wow. that that's not the case. If the filter is ahead of us, our odds are really bad. What we can hope for. This is why finding life beyond Earth would be horrible. The more what? common life is in the universe, and the more advanced and complex it is, the more likely it becomes that a filter is in front of us. Bacteria would be bad, small animals would be worse, intelligent life would be alarming. Ruins of Why? ancient alien civilizations. I, don't, I, I know that like, the thought of being ahead of us is bad for us, but uh, what? I, I'm lost with this. Would be horrible. The best case scenario for us right now is that Mars is sterile that Europa's oceans are devoid of life, and the vast arms of the Milky Way harbor only empty oceans hugging dead continents. That there are billions of empty planets waiting to be discovered and to be filled up with life. Billions of new homes waiting for us to finally arrive. But how would we even start with like colonizing how planets? Is it that we'll find life outside of Earth that is similar to us. Well, right, that depends saying. on how many planets there are out there in their star's Goldilocks zone, the area around a star where water can be liquid. Because stars come in all sizes and configurations, this zone is different for every star system and requires a little bit of physics to figure out. Bro, there's definitely millions of these though. Like, like, there's too many galaxies out there. If that sounds like fun to you, this quiz from Brilliant helps to break down That'd the That'd be really fun to do, to be fair. But really, really, really amazing video from Curse again. Really enjoyed that one. Man, bring on the alien life. Bring on the alien talk in the comments. I'm looking forward to see the comments section of this video. I really am. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. Guys, we're gaining super close to YouTube partner. We need 1,000 subs. We've just passed 250. Appreciate everyone that's dropping a subscription. If you can help out with the channel and subscribe, that would mean the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video.